Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Brev Do? This is the series where we play an entire ranked game and I talk about what's going on in my head the entire time. For today's team build, we're doing another team build from the tier list video that I posted around a week ago. This time we're going to do the best team possible with every card on your squad costing 35k or less. Uh, a couple of notes here, I did post it a week ago, so a couple cards have crept up either right around 35k or over. Um, Fran Mill's up to 36 now, so really close. Um, you can obviously just substitute JD there for him. Uh, I also made the tier list video before Austin Riley came out, so just throwing Riley in left works great. Uh, or you can just get rid of Ortiz or Devers. Uh, I think Riley's probably better than both of them, so Riley is a must-have, but wasn't on the list when I made it because he wasn't out yet. And then Piazza himself is up to 44k on the cell now, creeping up fast. So uh, the next best option would be Wilson. Um, or you can use Jimmy Fox as well, I think is the next highly ranked one under 35k. But uh, I'm just going to use Piazza because I want to get some more reps with him. And I'm going to keep Franmo on the squad as well just to let him get a feature in a gameplay since <laughs> he might not moving forward the rest of the year. Uh, here's the rotation. Sandy, Corbin, Castillo, Valenzuela, and Ashby. We are going to be pitching with Valenzuela in this one. Uh, I just recorded one with Ashby, and the guy quit in the second inning, so that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, and now that you've seen the rotation, I'm going to toss a couple guys in here to recover energy. Um, and then the bullpen is Lopez, Soto, Gossage, Chapman, Williams, Britton, Helsley, and Mantiply. So, uh, again, if you want to make some substitutions and for updated prices right now, uh, Contreras for Piazza and then Riley for Fran Meal is like the easiest thing you can do uh, for the squad. But going to be pitching with Valenzuela in this one. I don't know if I've done a Valenzuela video yet this year. Um, I made an entire video on how to pitch well with him last year, which I'll make sure is in the description of this one. Uh, everything still applies. The only thing that's a bit different is it's harder to throw his off speed up like with more pinpoint location, obviously because of the nerfs to par and stuff this year. But generally the concepts are all the same uh, and generally the locations work out because Valenzuela's MO is screwball changeup and just missing your opponent's PCI and messing with their timing all game. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know like the ins, of, ins and outs, probably one of the better videos I've made throughout the years, uh, that Valenzuela one will be in the description. Uh, or you can just watch us play this one since he's going to be pitching with us Pitching for us as well. Um, we're at 846 rating, so not really close to World Series, but getting there. Um, just getting our games in. Still over two weeks left in the season, so we're chilling. We'll see what we match up with here. We are taking on Super Fractured Bobby Miller. I think I've faced Bobby Miller quite a bit recently, too. This guy also has McCutcheon, so... <laughs> We are definitely facing a God Squad. This will be a test for Fernando for sure. Um, so facing Bobby Miller, obviously you got to take away the four seam or they're going to just exploit you with it all game. Uh, the best Bobby Miller pitchers, I think, use the sinker as their primary. So we'll see how this guy pitches. First pitch sinker in. Makes sense. Um, but sometimes people get a little reckless with the four seam. You can kind of punish it if you sit on it. But generally, pretty tough pitcher to hit. Lots of speed differential and lots of things go in different directions. There's a splitter down and in. Unfortunately, we're late side of good. I kind of subconsciously like didn't want to swing at that pitch because the shift was on. But it was just a bit too juicy. I think that's why I might have swung late, which is a bit unfortunate. But decent at Matt to start the game. Obviously, when the shift's on, I'm typically looking for stuff away to try to beat it. You can get some easy doubles that way, but easier said than done for sure. And as always, we're trying to be a little bit patient in the opening innings just to try to pick on, pick up on some tendencies of what our opponent's trying to do. Really bad swing from us, though. Didn't recognize sink, uh, splitter out of the hand there. So we just do a roll me over and give him a freebie. And already we're kind of showing him that we're struggling with the splitter, so we may have to keep that in mind. I don't know why we're struggling with it, but we've taken some pretty bad-looking swings, so maybe he will uh, try to keep using that on us and we can kind of sit on it in a big spot. Getting a little cute here against J-Rod, I would say. I'm going to take this pitch since I am at a handedness disadvantage, and J-Rod has a lot of speed. 
And we will take our free walk. And now we're trying to do some damage with Devers. We're sitting Sinker out. He went Splitter out. He's pitching really cute right now. It's kind of weird. I rolled over on one Splitter. <laughs> Changed his whole game plan. There wasn't even anybody on base. Definitely weird. I guess it's working. That's a huge take. We send the runner here, 3-2 with the force play intact. Tries the fastball. We're just a little bit early. Now we got to be really careful of stuff low and in. We do not want to chase that stuff. Ah, splitter again. He absolutely dotted me for all three pitches there with the 3-2 count. Good on him, man. That was tough. All right, on to pitching with Fernando. You're going to be seeing a lot of this as the first pitch gets swung early for a bomb. <laughs> McCutcheon life. He could not have been earlier on that swing. That is tough. All right, well, good start for Fernando. Uh, but you're going to be seeing a lot of this. Screwballs and change-ups inside, outside. And typically I throw them like middle. Like I'd say that's the most common area. I'm talking in terms of height. Uh, that I throw screwballs and changeups with this card. I'd rather go up than down too. So like I'm gonna try to throw a screwball like somewhere here. Uh, I think throwing screwballs and changeups down with this card is generally not that great. Um, I'll do it more with the screwball than the changeup. But people typically sit low with those uh, pitches. So this guy's off to a hot start though. Early swing changeup bomb into a late side of good, I think that was. Double on the screwball. Uh, that was off the plate, too. Rough. Uh, Napoli. So, so far already, this guy's looked a lot better against Fernando than most of the people I've played recently. So, this end up, may end up being a long one. Um, not sure how many left on left opportunities we're going to get with his lineup structure, too. The big appeal with Fernando, in my opinion, I think he's the best pitcher at getting people out left on left. I think running the screwballs and the change-ups and on the hands is so hard to hit for lefty hitters. So Fernando was a lot better before we started getting cards like Jackie and Kutch in the game. Uh, recently, here's a Babe Ruth opportunity, so maybe we can show it off. But I do obviously still think he's top 10, and I'm having a lot of success with him. Did we catch that? What in the world is going on? We actually caught that on the bounce. <laughs> I was going to be salty if we didn't get an out there, but that's what I'm talking about. Like That screwball in on the hands left on left is so hard to time up. And you can see I went to a mix-up curveball there. I think I throw the curveball with Fernando almost exclusively versus righties. It's a great pitch to run in on the hands as well. So You might think for a finesse guy, finesse guy like Valenzuela that we uh, would pitch outside a lot or pitch kind of cute, but we're generally just coming right after them. It's just hard to differentiate with your swing timings between, I don't know how I found that, between screwball and changeup, which I think makes him good. I cannot believe how much off speed this guy's throwing with Bobby. This is wild. Probably so he could do that. <laughs> He's working us over, I'll tell you that much. We're not going to let him keep hanging these splitters early in the count, though. Hopefully he keeps pitching this way, honestly. A couple of sinkers to start us off here, though, so probably not. Don't want any part of that. Did he try to get, go out of the zone again? 2-2. Two, two. Uh, sat back too long. So this splitter is going to be a problem. I don't know why. I typically don't have any issues hitting it, but this game I don't have it with that pitch. So I think we're going to have to adjust our approach entirely and try to sit on it and then just, you know, try to speed up our bat in spots where we think he's going to throw fastballs and such. But, I mean, if he's going to do this, like he's very deliberately spamming the pitch. We have to do something to hit it, or he's just going to keep spamming it all game. 3-0 here. I'm going to take a pitch. Slider down the middle. 
Three one here. I'll be looking for hanging off speed again. Missed it. This is a common spot for him to now go to like a sinker in, so we'll try to speed our bat up a bit. And six straight off speed pitches from Miller. Working us over. I respect it. He definitely has the reads on us. And Brett immediately taking the screwball to dead center. Can we get there in time? Oh, we did get there? <laughs> no way. What a play, man. That's huge. That's the first home run I've robbed in probably months. I always miss. And immediately he hits the next one out. I'm trying to think of what the adjustments I need to make are here. Um, maybe throw more balls? Like, even that pitch is not really in the zone. Good timing, though. Maybe we just need to get him to chase more. I typically throw nothing but strikes with Fernando because the whole point is to, like, mess with their timing and such. This guy might be a different story. I haven't really tested him on his plate discipline at all. And we get him to chase low there. So I think that's the approach moving forward. We, uh, unfortunately are down 2-0 and not hitting well before we discovered this, but... And obviously we're not going to do it against the pitcher. But yeah, I think more balls early in the count is going to be the move. Hopefully we can survive the Bobby Miller at bat here. All right, nice. Let's go hit. What do we want to do? Is he hanging us this another splitter first pitch? I kind of just want to swing at it. Fastball right away. Okay, I wonder if he mixes it up now, if he changes his approach this inning. Seems like it so far. A great spot <laughs> dude I'm getting diced what adjustments can we make here I really only got beat by a sinker one time I gotten beat by off speed a lot more than that so I think I just need to stick to the plan of sitting off speed kind of like hitting backwards in a way I'm not gonna do much with Fernando there though my bat is so fast. Too much Bobby Miller on legend, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Early swing, so not the prettiest home run, but at least we tagged one of them get him off of this whatever sequencing he's doing Just, I've never seen this much off-speed spam in my life from this card and uh, we finally tagged one that was hung hopefully we can keep doing so there's the outside pitch against the shift I had a bit of a read there as well he's been kind of doubling up like his first two pitches of every at bat have been the same pitch a couple times in a row so I was kind of sitting forcing him again see if he goes back so like let's see if he throws a slider here we might have a read on him yeah interesting I don't know what he's gonna do for the third pitch is he gonna walk Julio again I can't imagine he will with Devers on deck yeah we have to let it rip there 3-0 get up that is so sad that's the perfect approach man oh I can't believe that stayed in the yard Dang it. So let me talk about why swinging 3-0 there is great. Um, he's already walked Julio once, which isn't necessarily a huge factor, but uh, you, you don't want to walk the same guy over, over and over throughout the game, right, subconsciously. Like, you kind of want to make sure you're consistent around the strike zone. Anyway, uh, if he does walk us there, he's early here. So we got a bit lucky, but it's not as bad as it looks. Um... I think he's early but if he walks us there we get Devers up with two runners on in a one run game which is a lot worse situation than J-Rod right on right versus Miller when we've already been struggling right so 
I was pretty much guaranteed to get an absolute cookie there, and we did, and we didn't miss it. We just didn't have enough pop. That's really sad that he just got a hit on that pitch. We are getting him to chase a bit, though. At least low. Yeah, that seems to be working best out of anything. He saw a change up the whole way there. When somebody's late on a change up, uh, you count your blessings. <laughs> like somebody swinging late on a change up, I don't know. Some people have told me they think that like the person's bad when they do that. Someone swings late at off speed, it means they saw it the entire way. Like he did it again there. I pretty much never want to throw a screwball inside this at bat, though, because he already tagged me once with it with Ruth. Or was it Brett? I think he tagged me once with it. Let's try to throw it, like, way off the plate. Hopefully this doesn't catch the zone. Yeah, that's nasty. Oh, Ruth was the one that popped out where I double-clutched it. Okay, so left-on-left left screwball has been okay. Brett almost hit it out when we did it. All right, another hanging splitter first pitch. So we're taking this away. We're <laughs> this is honestly a bit disrespectful, which I can't blame him because we suck so far this game. But it's not happening anymore. We're gonna take that pitch away. All right, we'll sit sinker here again. We'll see if he continues doubling up, and he did. And we're able to get a two-run bomb out of it. I think beautiful. So we literally have a read. This is amazing. We got a read on the guy, and we're executing both at bats this inning. Just pure reads. See if he goes four seam out again. Okay, this is good. We need to take advantage a little bit more, though, because surely he'll start mixing it up at some point. Had to kind of swing at that, because if it was a slider, it was catching the zone. Kind of awkward pitch. Good spot for him. Oh, barely missed that one. That's okay. We're at 60 pitches through three and a third, and we have the lead now. That Devers at bat into the Piazza at bat, just massive reads. I'm very pleased with how we're playing this inning. And obviously, if he wants to keep hanging splitters, we're going to swing at him. Even if we do that, the more we uh, try to take it away from him, the less it encourages him from continuing to do it. Okay, there's another double up. Not the greatest time to take advantage of it because we got our pitcher up now, but Valenzuela can hit just a little bit. He's actually the only pitcher all year I've hit perfect. I hit a perfect, perfect home run with on Legend. <laughs> Maybe we can get something going. But at least we turn the lineup over. No double up there. Not really relevant for information, though, since the pitcher spot doesn't really count. It's kind of just a throwaway at bat for everyone involved. It's a good throwaway at bat so far, though. Ah. On the nicest pitch of the game, we pop out. Great inning, though. Definitely got the momentum back. Definitely hitting Bobby better. We're immediately going to bury a pitch in the dirt in case he starts pressing now that we have the momentum. Wanted that a lot lower. He somehow still hit it fair for a hit. Ugh. This is tough because low is the only place we're getting him to chase, and yet he's still getting hits when we swing when he chases low. Hmm. Brett is so scary, man. I hate pitching to this card. <laughs> Seems like he's definitely pressing a bit, though. This at bat in particular, or he's just sitting screwball. Typically, this would maybe be a spot where I'd want to elevate a fastball above the zone, but not to Brett. He's got too much contact. That is just disgusting. I can't even believe this is how my inning is starting. Early below the zone into just late below the zone. No way. <laughs> Thank God Fran Mill caught that. That's the swing we're looking for. We go up and away changeup there, hoping he'll roll it over. 
And we did get a very early swing, but he elevated the ball, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a great adjustment from us. We need some of the times that he's putting it in play on balls below the zone to be outs, though, for this to really work out great. That'll work. I think we turn this even with 99 speed. Easy. We're making huge adjustments on offense and defense here, dude. I'm really happy about the middle of this game so far. There's another splitter. Pretty good swing. Again, we're taking that away. We've grounded out twice on it. If he wants to keep throwing it, we're going to keep hitting balls 105. Eventually, they're going to go out. We're sitting four-seamer away now for the double-up read. It's good against the shift, too. We swung just underneath. Dang it. Just missed with our PCI. So a couple of quick outs here, but again, the approach is good. Taking good swings. Sometimes it just goes like this. Does he pitch around J-Rod again? <laughs> There he goes. This is so weird. I wonder if he thinks it's the home run derby one. No way Rhett just made that play on an auto dive. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, that inning was sad. And it looks like he's going to get away from Bobby here. Dang it. Ooh. Really? Wow. Okay. I could not be happier about this. I really feel like I have the reads on Bobby. And considering he's losing as well, I think pinch hitting, pinch hitting is absolutely correct. But he's going to be a bit greedy and stick with his starter here, which I am very happy about. I was really disappointed with our last inning. I was going to say something because I wanted more cracks at Bobby here. I feel like we're really on a roll hitting off of him, even though we've only scored three. So that is amazing news for us that he did not pinch hit. Especially with the top of his order on deck, cutch and everything, man. I definitely would have pinch hit there, but it's not my game to play from his end. I can't find the right spot to elevate these fastballs. It just A lot of the cards he's using have really high contact, and I don't like doing it particularly against them because they can slam their PCI up and still get a hold of it. Unless I throw it, like, super high. So it's kind of awkward. Uh, we'll try this up and out change again. Last time he swung early with Clemente. Not really competitive. Guess we'll throw a get me over screwball because we really don't want our walk cutch. And now we'll throw a get me over change up just for the mix up. Really don't want to walk him. That's fine. Let's go middle out with the changeup again and hope he doesn't pull it early for a home run again. He was all over it. Harper. Oh, I'm insane in the outfield this game. <laughs> Let's go. A robbed home run and a dive. So that's a pretty low risk dive. I think I pull the trigger on that dive every time. Um, if I miss, I just get up and go field the ball. I know Kutch is fast, but Franco Park, or not Franco, Capital, the walls are shallow enough where I think I get up, go get the ball, and it's still only a double. I think that was pretty much a risk-free dive there. Love to see it. Sometimes you got to take those risks, too. Definitely seems like he's on Fernando very well this inning, though. Napoli on deck, huh? I don't really mind walking him here, to be honest. We could theoretically pitch around all the way to Ruth. Again, try to play the matchups with the left-on-left -left stuff with Fernando, because that's his strength. We get him swinging late there. He's going to bloop it in. Tough. Oh, this guy's been getting some cheap hits, dude. Oh. Okay, what do I throw here? He's got to be sitting screwball, right? So we'll throw one change up. Please don't hit this out. He was apparently not sitting screwball, but we got the one pitch out anyway. Whew. What a roller coaster. We escaped the fifth. No damage, though. We get the heart of our order up. We're going to get the pen up. Since a good rally this inning means we're pinch hitting, since we're starting with our four-hole hitter. 
We'll definitely want to go to a fireball or two as a counter for uh, the Valenzuela innings we've thrown so far. So we'll warm up uh, Britain and Gossage. Those are good choices here. And again, same approach, taking away the hanging splitters early, looking for the double up on the second pitch. Really just trying to get it done. There's a double up on the second pitch. Double against the shift. We've already done that once this game. He's trying to deke us, so we'll stay at second. He was trying to make it look like I had a chance to go to third, but we're not having it. And I got to imagine we get a splitter here. Bat is so slow. Ooh, slider. We're even late on it. No double up there. First time in a while. That moves the runner up. We may even beat this out. This is cheeky. 40 speed. <laughs> we finally got a cheap hit. The payback. Okay, what do I sit here? Sinker? Dude, there's no way he's going to throw this twice again, right? I have to sit on it, though. Just kidding. He went splitter in. Did I actually hit that out? Ortiz? Holy cow, we actually hit that out. <laughs> Luckiest sitting ever. This is huge. Leaving Bobby in was a mistake. Insane. Man, the adjustments we've made this game, though. Crazy. He had us in the first half, not going to lie. Haven't seen many two strike counts in the recent innings as well. We've been with the, just the approach we've been taking on. Great at bat here from Fran Mill. I hope he gets on base at least once. <laughs> oh. I've missed that pitch twice now. Frustrated at myself. Huge take. What does he throw? I just tagged a splitter, so something hard probably. Uh, I went slider. Decent swing. Probably should have grounded out. But we're just rallying here. He's really got to think about taking Bobby out, man. We're definitely pinch hitting, too, if we have any semblance of a rally here. You could tell it's this out. We don't have to pinch hit. Oh, my God. Huge. <laughs> So huge. Oh my god. These home run PCIs though. Five runs. Nobody out in the sixth. And now we absolutely don't have to pinch hit at all. This is huge. So just for context, if we had ended up in a spot where it was anything close to me being able to do damage. So like run on first one out. If Cattell hit a single there, it was first and second. Nobody out. We were definitely pinch hitting 100%. Perfect, perfect with Valenzuela. Is he going to die at the track? <laughs> That's sad. He could really... He's one of my better hitting pitchers, man. Just no pop to center field. We have exploded on Bobby Miller this inning. There's that first pitch slitter that... Slitter. First pitch splitter that we're smacking. Another ground out, but also another ball hit over 100 miles an hour, so I'm not upset about it. We've done our fair share of damage on that pitch, so keep throwing it. We'll sit sinker out again, looking for the double up. He did throw it, but off the plate. I don't know what he does third pitch. <laughs> we never get this far. He threw it again. It was early, though. Whatever, good inning. Push Bobby up to 100 pitches 99 pitches and we're up to eight runs on the board fernando really settled down as well we're definitely throwing first pitch screwball in the dirt here he's got to be pressing after that inning we just had it sucked all the life out of him hoping to get a one pitch out good take we'll throw it again it's going to be tough for him to stay disciplined against Fernando with the game state evolving into what it has with that last inning. He's doing a good job so far, though. Missed that changeup with his PCI. Had good timing. He has uh, hit Valenzuela, all things considered, pretty well, which 
I guess speaks volumes as to how good I think Valenzuela is. Like, this is, you know, somewhat of a... It's definitely not his best game. And we're still looking at potentially a quality start if we get one more out. It's just so hard to square his pitches up. Like, the screwball moves so much, has such a weird timing window. The changeup is so slow. Really, really love this card. And you can see just how many times I haven't thrown the ball low, or like at least early in the count. This is a good time to elevate because I threw that changeup decently high. This is going to tunnel well. Good take. Uh, good counter pitch now is to try to drop a screwball in up and away. Same tunnel also. God, I'm swinging late. So that's a great sequence. We're kind of out of that tunnel now, though. So let's try to bury a change up. Maybe he swings. Then we'll come back with a different tunnel. What do I want to do here? Uh, I'll go middle and change. Sat back on it well, but missed with his PCI and was late side of good. So Fernando threw six, two earned. We're putting up eight. Will we still face Bobby here? He might be gone. Nice. Great game, man. Honestly, super good game. Made all the adjustments we had to in the first couple innings. All of our adjustments paid off. Um, just getting reads on our opponent and taking advantage, man. So I hope you guys learned something. hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Uh, now that we've done the other two tier list team builds, uh, we'll be on to the God Squad next. We're at 864 rating. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time.